what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of Empire Dead War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode we are attacking Turin, one of the last remaining Dutch strongholds. They have some troops coming in to reinforce them, but it will not save them. So let's crack on and take the city of Turin. And that will leave only Amsterdam as the... Uh, Dutch capital which defies us and which will definitely do definitely definitely die uh, in due course as we siege them to death and this garrison starves. Right, so <laughs> then the next course of business will be to uh, destroy Prussia. And again I'm hoping that the Russian Russian pressure will also help us in that regard. And then we can well, eventually we can then take out the Russians. But first, we must destroy the Dutch. So I want this hill. I'm going to draw the guns up. My infantry line will... Ugh. My infantry line will secure it first. Backed up by my melee line. Guardsmen will take position where necessary. My cavalry and mounted elements on the left, general in the center. Yeah, we're not going to really have the opportunity to take the hill in the manner we want. So wherever there are cavalry concentrations, drive up our melee units first. The enemy have an entrenched horse artillery unit, so it's actually technically we want to stay away from that. with those men on the flank because I've got Gurkhas up there. The you know, Hindu Musketeers try and attack them. Okay, now form square. Islamic Swordsman hit the Provincial Cavalry. Guardsmen have to stay down. Bring my mounted troops up. Okay, here comes a regiment of dragoons going for the Kizilbashi, but they've got dervishes right there. So the swordsmen will, will kill all the provincial cavalry. Are they going to dismount? Either way, they're going to get shot at if they don't make a, get a move on. Provincial cavalry got shot. Very well, withdraw. Get into the enemy dragoons instead. We can begin folding our new flank around. Get my guns up on the hill. This could completely backfire based on the enemy reinforcements, but we do what we got to do. Spare Hindu warrior unit. At least this way we've nullified the advantage of, not their advantage of their artillery, their temporary advantage of their artillery. Then we're going to truck up our own guns and then we're going to have an even steeper advantage. Okay, don't chase down the provincial curve. Hit the dragoons. Musketeers and Gurkhas 
get over here. We're going to get a, we're going to get some visibility on where the enemy reinforcements come in from imminently. I'm speed up my time while things don't really happen. Okay, right. Re deploy our line. Are you going to charge into the back of my line? No, you're just moving. Okay, so I can, can withdraw my army like so. Unlimber the guns. Oh, this is going to be glorious. So they are picking at us, but they've only got weak units when the guns are up. I mean, we're going to not... Don't shoot at their artillery. That is a waste of shots. We're going to fire round shots. We can fire over their heads. Or over our units' heads. Excellent. They're being forced to march into our lines. That's my Sapahi. Get my Sapahi to come over here. We may actually want to swarm this area so that every as every new unit comes in, we mob them. So the bulk of their melee infantry is on the left. It's good because so is ours. So four and five of the kind of guards. If we need to, we can fall back to the guns. Because we've got pikes. Pikes. Three units of Swiss pikes there on the left. So we're going to match them with three units of Mysorean melee troops. There we go. That'll be enough for you with them. Pahi now attack officially the wrong side of the defences. Now we've done that redeployment. So they're engaging the general's bodyguard. I want to start to roll up the right flank because my Hindu musketeers, they've been taking damage from those grenadiers. You're engaging the general's bodyguard. It's okay. the Hindu warriors against the regiment of horse. Oh, my Sapahi have taken some friendly fire. Killed one general with Swiss Mountain Jaeger unit. Okay, the Swiss pikes are committing, or about to commit. Hindu warriors into the pikes, infantry guards into the pikes on the flank, dervishes into the pikes from the rear. Swordsmen square off here. Pikemen may be powerful, but they're surrounded by men in the front with swords and shields, men in the rear with hatchets. Have at you! Gonna try and get a gun team through. Get him! Get him, Gurkhas! You push onto the dragoons. So the infantry guards pin the pin the um, pikes in the front. Islamic swordsmen. 
charge into them in the rear. Everyone else is charging along the line. So you get my Sipahi in here. They're, they're pikemen, but if we charge them with my heavily armoured lance cavalry, the shock might cause them to break rapidly. All my gunners engage their guns to the rear. Indian Musketeers are broken. Form up a slightly more conservative position. And blast through the new gap with shrapnel fire. Royal Indian Infantry Guards get in. Swordsmen push. Cavalry get around the flanks. Even a fighting conscripts, that's not a terrible. I'll get Swiss Grenadiers is a bit more dicey. They come back, but they lost my trust. So using shrapnel shot to even the odds there. Let's get my armored cavalry over. Try go for the general's bodyguard. See if I can kill the general. Shrapnel shots blasting holes in their line. Killed their general. Keep on driving. Up until you block the war elephants. Let's get the war elephants involved. They're so much like my. Uh, they're like my silver bullet. I really don't like using my. Okay, the enemy, enemy reinforcements are coming in from the. Some of them are coming in from the other direction. You fellows are a bit screwed. As you push in, you're going. You're just getting surrounded by my infantry. There goes the dragoons. Pretty sure that's everyone there, but you're going to stay there for a bit just in case. Both these gun teams engage the engineers. Both of you guys engage the infantry, cavalry. Go for the regiment of horse. General. Fire some musket shots at the general's bodyguard. But they've not got it, not got in yet, so you're gonna just push it up. Form a new line. With everyone. These two gun crews engage the light infantry. The artillery shattered, getting my Sapahi out of the way. Fairly sure that because sometimes they kind of alternate what comes in. Come on, let's just get my elephants involved in these against these reinforcing troops. Get everyone else just to run up here, they'll be exhausted, but that's completely fine. Everyone else is dead. So you men push up to here in case any of those units elect to come back. I mean, I doubt it because the artillery... Oh, no, the engineers came back. There we go. The engineers got shattered from some shrapnel shells. Oh, everyone, the re re reinforcing army broke. Excellent. That went really well. So that is the next settlement captured. Hopefully the reinforcing arms are all destroyed. So like you guys outside, there's guys to the south in the port. Turin is taken. Let's destroy the coaching inn. You're going to come in and... Yeah, you. You're going to come in and attack Crispin Van Buren. Kill him. Then you men push up to Europe here to add some extra muscle. Nice. So let's repair the cloth mill. Repair the global trading company. Embark you men push up to here. 
I mean, they're going to hate a centurion for a while. We're going to exempt them from tax and repair the government building. I want to knock this down, replace it with a madrasa, because I need to start converting more of the uh, local population. So in terms of Genoa, unfriendly allies with the Dutch. Yep, you are going to be declared on. Although, do I need to use you? Declare war. Don't call my allies in. Just put them under siege for now. Bring you guys up as a reinforcement. Everyone else is tooling up to squeeze Prussia out of Venice and hold this hold this valley. Take Venice and push on to try and create an even bigger bottleneck. You may even put Venice under siege. You could take it, but you're not going to because there's lots of enemies to our east. So let's make a bit of a bridgehead, but still hold the river crossing. I mean, yeah, these these units, the armies you recruit on the continent are just a bit bleh. So you're going into that guy. No, no, you're ready, so you can go into there. Nice. Bark. So all your units, you've still got recruitment on the way. That's okay. Up here. Three more slots. You've got one Kizil Bashi, and have you got any rare units on the way? Looks like these two units are going south. Ah, you've got one unit of desert militia coming in all the way from the west. More heavy ships. Let's have a look at. Okay, you're still recruiting. You've got one more spot. It's Hillman. You also recruited these dervishes. These guns are going over to this fellow. You're going to take the dervishes as well because they're no longer needed to the west. So you need two more units of infantry and Israeli are... They're not good, but they're fine. So these guys, these are all waiting for Prussia to pull back to Sarajevo or up towards that area. Because Prussia is at war with Russia. So ultimately, we don't want Russia to take too much of their territory. We want them to take as much of a beating as they possibly can. <clears throat> then Greece. One of, Greece is allied with the yeah, protector of Dagestan. But the mean, in the meantime, though, trade and oh, oh, I can't give you any. You've got all of the technology you want. Two grand for trade. Fair enough. Hmm. Württemberg wants to trade. Uh, well, can trade, but I'm always, always suspicious of Württemberg. The German states are incredibly aggressive. You, know, you two are waiting for Britain to get up to no good. Because that that's a really neat looking army. And Ivan Ivan Bering. Brutus Denham. Gifford Davies. Yeah. Yeah, we need. We need some good, strong navies up in position. I need more navies up here, because obviously the Prussians may attempt to break out. So you've got your militia, Garrison Antwerp. Get recruiting. Let's get this third rate up to Antwerp as well. This 
first rate up to Antwerp. No, not the militia unit that they're garrisoning the port. Phew, caught that just in time. Get you up there. Because can we get a better view on what those navies look like? Three navies. Three enormous fleets okay i'm gonna i'm inclined to wait to see if those guys disperse because that's a very significant effort some of them definitely came from here somehow because you're definitely you're definitely blockading it but you guys are just sieging the netherlands waiting for them to collapse okay 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 then use our navy to ruin to break this dry dock uh, let's recruit another Jebek. at some point we need actually no i don't need to recruit one we've got plenty i oh, know that's to garrison uh, no, we don't need any. Fairly sure all Ottoman or Prussian trade should be cut off anyway. Except for in the north. No, in the north they get a bit of trade income, but we've got two fleets raiding it, so they should be getting less and less. They got war weariness. They do have war weariness. But not enough. Not enough. I want more war weariness. Because when we push through into Istanbul and Athens, we are going to have a a long front line with Russia so we need to keep that fortified because Russia at any point could decide they've had enough of had enough of us and they're going to kill us Copenhagen would be a good capture as well because if we can take Copenhagen oh yes 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 yeah they're pulling troops out of the Balkans Pushing some into the Russian territories or on the border of the Russia. No. Okay. Ooh, it would. Okay, if they take Bulgaria, that would be like, that would be quite good for us. Yeah, if they if they attack us outside Venice, we will likely withdraw because that's a lot of troops. I'd rather fight them over a river crossing than fighting for a city because a city fighting on a city is a very easy way to lose an entire army you lose the battle they're all gone whereas on a river battle at least if you lose some of them might survive and you can still replenish and build an army from it i'm fairly sure Württemberg's at war with russia so be curious to see what they end up doing the AI is really trying to crank the dials and work out what's the best thing to do. Yeah, Copenhagen would be a good capture. We'd really control the control the entrances to the Baltic, potentially landing and taking something like Königsberg that's got its back up against Russian territory. That would be a good one to take. Um, but it looks like Russia wants to take a long time to make decisions. So I'll see you guys in a second. And after about 10 minutes, uh, things have started to actually happen. So here we are. The Prussians have wandered just within range of one of our armies that's currently covering a bridge. And I sure to God hope this army, it's really depleted anyway, is coming in from across the riverbank. And we will be supported by a contingent of the Georgian army. So let's get to it. We're definitely going to intercept and destroy them. We're going to see some Prussian giants, grenadiers. I haven't had an opportunity oh it might be those guys so they might be coming in from behind us so let's get ready to rumble 
but their army's depleted, or fairly depleted anyway. And but yeah, I've not actually played played as Prussia since the since I've started playing with the additional units mod, so I've not had a chance to play with all the cool Russian stuff. Well cool Prussian stuff and the Russian stuff actually. I disapprove of what you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. Nice. Right, so we want to cover Ford, because they actually like crossing the Ford. So what I want to try and do is say, okay, let's take Ooh, that's a lot of got a lot of cavalry in this army. Kinda not. It's, it's okay, that's not too bad. Let's take three infantry units to cover a ford with two melee units. Let's cover the bridge, we're only going to have one Kizilbashi unit plus two melee units, but we're also going to have all of my cavalry over here as well because I anticipate them coming in from the left. So we've got one gun team deployed, we've got a bunch more artillery which we are going to deploy and we've also got, I mean lots of this artillery is bugged so I've got four great guns instead of just the one, or just, just the three rather. I'm going to deploy them facing that way, fire it all off, deploy my mortars near the artillery, firing quick climb at will. No, actually they are coming in from the correct side. In which case then... No, oh, no, we've still not got a huge amount of... I mean, I keep doing this now because that last time... We had one time with the enemy... Uh, were determined to well for some reason all my audio settings got turned off which was kind of lame but yeah in this case then we can keep a unit of Royal Indian Cavalry Guards here but the rest are gonna trot over to the other bank do you want to put melee troops kind of like this And they're engaging my great guns, and that's understandable. So this Ahadi and my general's bodyguard also come over here. Let's speed up time while things deploy and move around. See so yeah, how my great guns are going to deploy. I'm so glad they're coming in from the other side. Kill the enemy general because all this artillery, and they're just running around clustered together. No, no, go around the guns. We might kill some of my general's bodyguard, but let's find out. Let's see how lucky we are. I'm curious to see what a great gun. Oh, they've knocked out one of our great guns. So, all of you, come back here, work your way around. What is a great gun shrapnel? Oh, shrapnel's the same range though, isn't it? Let's just keep engaging everybody. Bringing one set of lancers across. I'd like to think that we can heal them. Depends on how quickly we reload our guns. Muskets are fired. They haven't done enough damage. We're not going to get our guns off yet. Fortunately though, because we've got loads of crewmen, we're not actually worried about... <laughs> Blasted a... <laughs> Blasted a shrapnel shot at really close range. Dervishes pull back. Zara swordsmen pull back. 
Get my gunners to keep shrapnel shotting the crossing. See, because the count is killing that gun crew, it killed everyone that's trying to protect them. Mostly focus on the enemy cavalry, yeah, now they're all starting to run because they realise they can't. Actually, one of my gun teams keep engaging the horse artillery. Just keep blasting the central area with shrapnel shot. Actually, to be honest, let's give you an order to engage. Those cavalrymen charging in. Storm. Oh, bouncy shot bounced over the general's bodyguard. So these are a new unit. Clean them out. A couple of shots missed though. Good volley, and that's pushed them back. My next trap my shot focus on the 19th Lancers because they're just in range and they're deployed perfectly for my artillery to keep engaging. Actually, go for the sharpshooters. Here comes some quick climbing mortar fire against the 125th. Ally general kill. Oh, because you've crossed the bridge. You fools. 49th regiment of foot. Are they going to join them? Shrapnel shotting the light cavalry sharpshooters. Everyone else is just having a ball. Stretch this front out just a little bit. Cavalry sharpshooters, another good blast. So yeah, that they can attack, they can shoot us from extended ranges because they are sharpshooters. More to come in. I mean, shrapnel shot now. We'll just there we go, like that. Oh, yes. Put some cavalry to the rear. Attack the 125th because everyone's routing. Should go for the sharpshooters. Quick climb coming in. Good hits. Yeah. She blast the sharpshooters. We'll do infantry firing drills against the. Should we go for the light infantry. Everyone else is going to shoot the cavalry first anyway. Blast the 32nd second that are coming in. We're engaging 125th, and the 15th took some of the fire as well. Great guns focus on counter battery, everyone else engage infantry units that are coming in from a long distance. So you focus on that how it's a unit. Oh yeah, they can still fire shells, can't they? How it's a unit. So even when they have no guns, they're still dangerous. My gun has switched to canister shot for really close range stuff. Quick climb coming in. Dangerously short ranges. Be real careful. 16th and the 11th. All these are coming in smartly. Who's this? The general's, oh, general's bodyguard. So, because there's infantry behind them, they're firing by rank into the infantry. The cavalry in front are. Oh, no, 
You weren't actually doing it in that case, but that can happen. So because of you, let's bring the Hindu warriors up. They're going to cross the bridge, try and provide some support. Ooh, enemy artillery a long way up. Great guns engage them. Keep focusing on the counter battery. Blast the militia. Blast the Prussian giants gonna be. They look Engaging our Hindu musketeers, and he misses a hitting my Hadi and dervishes to the rear. Fire! Oh! That's quick time. See, can that's the canister shot. They all just completely missed. They fired low. Someone fired. Two of them fired high into the right. There we go, now my Hindu warriors are over here. We'll actually do damage. See, they're firing quick climb at my Royal Indian Cavalry Guards. All of you engage. So now keep engaging your own targets because they're actually quite nicely split up. We are attempting to engage us in melee combat, and that will be a big mistake. A big collapse of their morale. Engage the militia. Yeah, this army needs a bit of a rebalance. We've got way too much artillery. And cavalry, really. Five, five units of artillery and five units of cavalry. It really doesn't give us many fire support or melee units. Shrapnel just missed the 11th. Big miss. Okay, maybe hit the 38th behind them. Another big miss. Lots of misses. Okay, now we've crossed the bridge. I'm going to bring my infantry back across it. Although I can't actually do that until we're completely off the bridge. There we go. Get her back here. I don't trust these Georgians. Put all my artillery to engage. The infantry coming in, the leather Georgians run around and mop up these uh, smaller units. How are you doing in the counter battery fight? Killed, you've destroyed one gun, that's not bad at all. More infantry coming in, but it looks like that might be the last of it. Go after the 29th. I mean, the Prussian line infantry just. I mean, granted, this isn't standard line infantry, but the standard line infantry itself does look really good. Another. There you go, that, sh that shot didn't miss. That one missed. This one. One, fire, one keeps firing here, one keeps firing high. Let's speed up time, because right now it's all just the. Prussians walking to their doom. Oh, they formed square. Why'd you do that? That's a recipe for disaster. Canister loves square. Oh, they, they're exploding on the trees ahead of them, some of them. Except for that one. Blew that corner out and it blew a chunk out of this corner here. Yeah, let, if the Georgians want to run around attacking whoever, then they are able. They are, they are more than happy, more than happy to let them do that. Although you might actually come over here and go after their 
gunners so my great guns can focus on these units blast them And make ready and fire. Fuck. Ah, gag, gag, gag. Swiss. Oh, quick one coming in. Just a big whiff. You guys have fired a lot. Oh, that's okay. You got a few kills. You see, compared to mortars, howitzers just do a lot more damage and you actually get to control them. Which you don't get to do with mortars. Because if, if you attack, if you give the mortars attack orders, they interpret them as move orders. So if I get you guys and say, right, attack that unit, 34th, there they go. They don't actually shoot, they just move. So you have to just deploy them and just let them shoot at whatever they want. And that's just not... I mean, you think if you think uh, fratricide is bad enough with... Um, <laughs> with my own fire that I'm actually controlling try it with try it with the AI just picks everything okay everyone shoots at the militia because the Royal Indian Cavalry Guards are gonna go up here knock out this troop artillery then go over here knock out this Guard Jaeger Battalion How about you? Nice. The natural crossing is just... I mean, all this artillery is... It is useful to have all this artillery, but I think I would, you'd be more resilient if you uh, actually traded it in for some actual infantry. Cavalry go after the Guard Jaeger Battalion. Safe to say, the strongest unit on the field for them now is Militia. Yeah, don't like their odds. Let's check. They are continuing to push against the Georgian infantry. Which is good because it means they will. We can charge them in the rear. On a Royal Indian Cavalry Guards that are. No, oh, they, they turned! No, they're facing both directions. Take out the Guard Diego. Ultimately, the, their army was so depleted anyway, it's not like it. They're going to take a lot of damage when, when this battle is concluded anyway. So you're going you're gonna to keep killing the Guard Jaeger, because why not, they're right there. But we're not going to keep fighting this battle any longer than we have to. Excellent. So ideally, you guys will break imminently. Lots of artillery flying in. The volley will break them. Plus that smack artillery shot that hit right in the centre. That did some good damage too. Ah, so Swiss Mountain Jaegers are still here. Artillery engage them. Yeah, just let them go. It wasn't a close victory, but it's definitely an army that needs rebalancing. you go. Oh, they've fallen back to Hanover. Interesting. I need to try and start doing some assassinating type things. Oh, and have they, have they elect to begin Operation Shutdown again? I think they have. So, see you guys in a second. Oh, it appears, again, after a long... Okay, so, it's been a long gap. And for some reason, a Prussian fleet was able to sail past both of ours and go over into the West Atlantic somewhere. So we've got to go find them. Interesting. It's a terrain light 
forest, but again, we should be intercepting on a bridge. And they have no artillery, so this should be pretty glorious. And again, we are getting some uh, support from our friends and allies. However, I will probably uh, retreat some of my cavalry, well, like these two units, maybe, just so I can get two more units of infantry in the in on the field as well. So, yeah, this insect, it's a full strength army, lots of cavalry, no artillery, which means we don't have to do any counter battery. We can just focus on obliterating them as they attempt to cross. This is exactly the kind of battle you, I want to be fighting the Prussians on. <laughs> I can focus and channel them into one small area and then just obliterate them. Yeah, I'm going to retreat to cavalry, call in two um, infantry units so I can get them up to the ford just in case they cross en masse, which is entirely possible. So, two weak cavalry units. I mean, I don't think it really matters. Cavalry is quick, so they will get away. I am going to use my Okay, let's take two units of artillery and have them just keep engaging the enemy as they as they move around the battlefield. But this is where I just pretty much just drop my artillery and go, okay, our job is going to be to kill absolutely everyone. Uh, I don't want to retreat too much of my infantry. Let's take my weaker units. Take three weak units plus a cavalry unit to guard the bridge in case they attempt to cross it. That leaves us with three infantry units plus two melee units plus cavalry plus elephant musketeers. So you guys are going to be fireable off. Oh, poor Georgia. Engage the enemy lance of guards. Something like this. Oh my hat, my mortars, I forgot about my damn mortars. Actually no, they're okay. Quick climb at will, good buddies. Actually you're running. Hindu Musketeers can form a square. A lot of cavalry's on the way. We've got two melee units. Okay, right, my Hindu Musketeers yeah, get over here rapidly. The new ones. Just open up on them. You're happy to engage the horse guards. If they keep kind of mithering. Okay, Shrapnel Shot is doing its glorious work. Okay, let's keep focusing on Shrapneling the crossing, because I don't think we're going to... Have my... Are those horse guards crossed yet? They have crossed. Commit my melee troops plus my cavalry. This artillery can unlimber. You men can try and engage these guys as they cross. Again, because oh, now it's raining, so we are definitely getting sound shenanigans. I mean, look, they're going to try and attack my gunners, but, you know, that ain't going to fly. Because I have got a lot of gunners. So you men attack Prussian light horse. They're losing a lot of men quite quickly, so they should break. There they go. So now you men. Everyone else just focus on canister shotting the crossing. Man your guns. 
There we go, that's one enemy unit destroyed. Pull the cavalry back. Pull my. Make sure my infantry isn't crossing. I've got a Swiss line infantry unit in the distance. And it's a shot the ground. You men have. That's a real bad position for you guys to deploy. I think it's probably. No, it's not blocking all my guns. Here comes the Hindu Musketeers. Yeah, we're just hitting them with canister shot. Actually, you might hit them with shrapnel shot. Actually, maybe two of them. Aim at the Freud core with canister shot. With shrapnel shot, rather. I've still got... Oh, yeah, they're engaging. Yeah, the poor, poor Georgians. Actually, where's my great gun? The great gun, engage the marines. You men engage the grenadiers. Who look brilliant. They look really nice. Two Prussian marines. It looks fairly standard. Swiss line. Again, fairly standard. Mercenaries. Generals bodyguard. Engineers. Grenadier, grenadiers. Swiss line. Swiss line. Blast them. Yeah, good quick claim kills. But again, it's all about the control or lack thereof. Oh, Jesus. Retarget the shrapnel fire against the other unit. Well, just keep them all firing the shrapnel, really. The engineer is going to try and play stakes, I would guess. So there's another. I mean, yeah, this is this is exactly how I want to fight Prussia. I can just concentrate them into little small packets. And the shrapnel shots bursting in the river. Who's this? The 51st, 24th, and unit of... Oh, God alive. That's... Oh, oh. You firing? Everyone's firing. Good. Swiss lines form square, because they're not having any, any more of these... This nonsense. Oh, so much slaughter. So beautiful. Yeah, they're out of here. Target the 26th. You men target the 2nd Regiment of Militia. The 24 pounders engage the Grenadiers. We're going to have to try cross to attack this, the uh, line infantry on the other side of the river. I don't think the forces here are going to be around for very long. There's my my great gun. Engage the general's bodyguard. See if I can kill that Prussian general. He, oh, so. Okay, right. Grenadiers. Now, actually, you keep going after the the uh, engineers. You go after the grenadiers. You go after the militia. Should get all of my guns here. Focus on the general's bodyguard. Maybe even just within shrapnel range. Oh yes, they are. They are within shrapnel range. But now let's go back to round shot. Yeah, they've they've broken. So now I want to follow the 15th Grenadier Regiment because they just I really like the design. They're going to avoid the quick line. Shrapnel shot bursting early, some of it is, but some of it's just. Yeah, the militia have broken. Keep opening fire. It's the 26th, and the deep Swiss line has come back. Slowly walking forward. Oh, <laughs> that's. 
I mean, in the game, this is glorious, but in real life, that's just horrific. Oh, there we go. The muskets have begun, begun firing again. Yeah, the grenadiers broke. It is an honourable retreat, my friends. This is just pure carnage, and the chat was still flying in. So over here, who's that? My two men have made it across, my Hindu warriors and my dervishes that went wanted to go over with them decided not to go. But now they are storming over. Sabres. Oh, what would they call them? It starts with a T. Tolwa, something like that. Chips and sabres are uh, glistening. Now they're making it into the melee. Now the Swiss line's got sword-wielding infantry to contend with, not just absolute carnage from all this artillery. Oh, this is so beautiful. Unlike last time, Artillery will assume. Although I don't really have as much as I would like to uh, be able to prosecute it. Yeah, let's continue. The other unit can go after the Swiss line. Or you can try go after the Swiss line if you can make it off of the bridge. Just going to go for the lowest hanging fruit these marines chiefly because those grenadiers I want to see them in future battles so I don't want to kill them all now that probably not far off of routing anyway yeah, Swiss line or militia they're going to escape though anyway kill the Swiss line this is a, but this is exactly why I want to hold these river crossings against the Prussians. Exactly why. Because this is brilliant. And this army's gained some gained some quite rapid experience. Come on, kill them. Got him. That was decisive. The amount of men we lost compared to the Prussians there is. Oh. Yes. More than five to one. Kurt Christoph von Schwerin, you screwed up big time. 24 pound of foot artillery, 500 kills. I mean, look at all my. Oh, the artillery, it's not even close. I'll take it. I will take it. And again, are they, they may well. Yeah, so this is the cycle. When little bits happen, when people kind of run around a bit, I don't show you that because there's no point. I'll show you when something. Like a battle happens. Uh, well, yeah. See you in a second again. There we go. So finally, <laughs> the Prussians have ended their turn. <laughs> now let's move on to Russia. So now let's see if Russia can exert some more influence against the Prussians. It looks like they might have taken some territory. They're sparring with them, but losing. But that's still something. That's doing damage to the Prussians that we could still use. 13 colonies are up to shenanigans. I mean, New Spain's going to invade us somewhere. I mean, if this is how it's going to happen, New Spain, I'll do it. I will kick off this war again if you make me. Uh, do you know the opportunity to intercept them? No, I'm not going to intercept it because I cannot be bothered to deplete all these armies by using an auto resolve, and I don't want to fight it manually. Doesn't matter. Oh, Württemberg got intercepted by the Prussians, but at least we, that is confirmation that Prussia is at war with Württemberg. Okay, so I'm so the army that actually is covering that bridge may actually stay that composition because it, it might be quite a good army for holding bridges. So you've 
butted up against some... Well, you've all kind of crashed into the back of each other. You keep going wide. Lots of good traits gained, but I'm not going to look at them all. Machine rifling. Which is good. Okay, right. I'm going to... Keep this army in port. My navy is going to check out any of either of these Mexican ports are free. They are both free. So I could you know what should I just do it? Diplomacy, New Spain. Ally with the Dutch. We're enemies with the Dutch anyway. Yeah, let's take let's just take him out. Take out this army before it can cause trouble. Nice. Then my army embark. They're probably not gonna they're probably not gonna assault Mexico, but they are going to siege it. I mean, I'm just, <laughs> just CG for now because I've got a bit of battle fatigue right now. I want to have a bit of a, not a break exactly, but I want to sort myself out. So you're quite good for defending this bridge. You're a good army to have in support. You. Actually, one of you can come back around here to intercept this army. Stop them getting up to no good. So, Turin, let's build a madrasa. We've exempted them from tax, but they mean they definitely don't like us. I'm expecting some opposition to building a <laughs> religious building. You men keep replenishing. Get up north as well. Something that needs to happen is send out a sloop network to try and see if I can find where that Prussian navy went. So if I go right to the edge of the map and then give them an order to sail up here, I can check they aren't hiding in the box, mostly. So I check they're not hiding at the edges. No, they give you an order to return. So then this sloop go for a more systematic approach. I mean, I suspect they've probably made it to the travel zone and they're gone. In which case, I'll probably want to hop to India and get, take one of my trade fleets and go, okay, start here. And try travel to here. Clear the box. Then go back up to the top. You guys do the same, just in case. Just in case they screw us over and attack. They pop up over here. It's 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 possible. AI does like to screw around. Okay, then get back up to the top next turn. Okay, so that, that navy's gone, effectively. It could be somewhere up here, but I doubt it. Might. Ultimately, they've got the move. They've got the movement points to cover a significant distance. I doubt they're in this pocket here. Yeah, I think they're gone. They've they made it past these fleets, which is weird, because I'm sure they, they still have their area of control, even though they're raiding. So that was a bit odd. But either way, we've made a significant dent 
against the uh, Prussian forces here. It would be interesting to push and take Hanover at this point. But the main thing I want to do is keep slowly consolidating that control. So keep the siege here going. Workers on strike in Savoy. We dealt with the blocked path. Keep the ports blockaded. I think now might be the time we cross over towards Istanbul and put Istanbul under siege. Bring these men up to reinforce. Actually, you may attack the small army next to Istanbul, and we will fight this manually next turn just to destroy this supporting garrison or supporting element. But looking at what I guess the timer probably is, I think it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Um, so, we're not fighting the Battle of Prussia, it's this one here. It's the one next to it that I'm ending on. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time.